we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. And I'm proud to say that's what we do here at Mandela Academy. Not only do we thank our veterans today, but we honor them every day by keeping a promise. That what they sacrificed for is not in vain. We shall use the freedoms for which they fought to create a better tomorrow. So much of this would not be possible without our teachers. Today it is my honor to introduce to you our keynote speaker, Mr. Mark Jones. Poor. 
The black man's face spoke revenge as the fire passed from his sight. For all he saw in his stick of wood was a chance to spite the light. The last man of this forlorn group did not accept for gain. Giving only to those who gave is how he played the game. Their logs held tight in vexed hands was proof of human sin. They didn't die from the cold without. They died from the cold within. We live in troubled times. Many find themselves in the ways, in many ways like those in this poem. We see the world many times in terms of Democrat or Republican, red state or blue state, rich or poor, conservative or liberal, black or white. We have more labels now than ever, and as a result, we have more of those laws. So one might ask, what does this have to do with Veterans Day? Veterans do not, they have not, or nor they ever had, the luxury to keep those laws. The spirit of a veteran defines the glue that holds us together and exemplifies the character of the best of us. A veteran defends, or has defended all, no matter what labels we assign to ourselves or to others. Veterans grieve for their fallen, regardless of those labels. Veterans defend a nation of people who, I continue to believe, value freedom. Veterans are not instruments of the government. They are guardians of our liberties and values. This past weekend, I had the privilege of spending time with young men and their fathers and mothers on a Boy Scout camping trip. My son and I, had benefited from being part of the scouting program because of this strengthened bond between us. Many of the fathers of these young men, like myself, are veterans. And we sat around the campfire, swapping stories and jokes, and sharing our hard-earned wisdom of life with these young men. And unlike the six men in the poem that I read, there was a warmth of brotherhood. This warmth that was shared by all instilled within me a sense of pride and in these days a hope for tomorrow through those children. As I watched the boys throw their logs into that fire, I realized that unlike the men in that home, they shared, all of them shared. Among them were no labels, boys of different races, cultures, and life experiences came together in unity and without realizing it, they were building bonds that extended beyond any of the issues that we often think separate us. The veteran fathers creating lasting memories and pouring wisdom into these boys passed on a legacy. A legacy of friendship and openness. And in doing so, these fathers cast their logs into the fire as they imparted the most valuable lessons of life both spoken and unspoken. They led their sons with both words and deeds. And I began to realize just how important my time in the military was, not just to my development as a man, but also to my development as a father. It taught me how to be a dreamer and a doer. To be one, to take a stand in life, and to stand with others who value dignity and beauty in this country. In short, to be the father that my children need and deserve. The best part of that is now I see these traits taking root in my children. This makes me very proud. Proud of the possibilities for the future of our country through them. This, in my opinion, is what it means to look through the eyes of a veteran. At that moment, as I was watching them throw those logs into the fire, and watching all that was taking place, all the labels, all the negativity, it just disappeared. And it was replaced with a bright hope for tomorrow, replaced with a warmth of brotherhood. One day, I pray that all of us can see through veterans' eyes. To value and defend life, liberty, and justice. When those holding those stone-cold logs catch up with the rest of us, 
pray we can all throw our heavy logs of anger and prejudice into that proverbial fire. And this will breathe warmth and light into our land of freedom. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you.